politics is a dirty game. And the politics in Kenya is one of the most thankless jobs in the world. So when McDonald Mariga announced that he was joining politics, many Kenyans were surprised and many Kenyans were shocked because McDonald Mariga was going to involve himself in a dirty game. This is a man who had made a name for himself internationally. And by local standard, McDonald Mariga is one of the most successful footballers in the world, I mean in the country. And many Kenyans expected McDonald Mariga after retirement would focus on developing and growing football in this country. But he chose politics. And as was expected, already McDonald Mariga's reputation is being destroyed. And who should we blame for this? In my view, we should blame one man, William Samoy Ruto. I can't judge him because probably William Ruto meant well for McDonald Mariga. But most Kenyans see William Samoy Ruto as someone who was trying to use McDonald Mariga for some political gains, which are selfish. Why am I saying this? We all know that despite the success of McDonald Mariga on the pitch, he has not had a very good relationship with the Kenyans. For example, it's now coming out clearly that McDonald Mariga has never voted in this country. Since McDonald Mariga was born several years ago, McDonald Mariga has never registered, has never voted, and he just registered to vote some seven days ago. How do you do you register seven days ago and still go to the same people and ask them for votes? I mean, I, I wish I had that kind of guts, but I don't have it. That's the first thing. The first, the second thing which Kenyans are now reminding McDonald and Mariga is the fact that he cheated on his age. And our Harambe Stars, the under 20 team, was actually suspended because of McDonald Mariga and three other, I think there were three other players. And McDonald Mariga was, was, was one of them. And it is alleged McDonald Mariga was born in 1981. But according to his ID, he cheated there. And the ID is reading he was born in 1987. That's why when McDonald Mariga ID came up, the first few digits, Kenyans started questioning why it was beginning with the 29. Because 29 is actually people who are born around 90 something. So McDonald Mariga is big boss. Then number three, number number the, the other thing which is coming out now, which is exposing McDonald Mariga, is the fact that at some point, McDonald Mariga boycotted playing for Arambestas over air ticket. When we know in other in other countries, people like George Ware used to sponsor their team while they were playing abroad. This guy refused to play for Arambe Stars because the management failed to refund him his money, air ticket, on time. On time. What is the cost of air ticket from Italy, where McDonald Mariga was playing, to Kenya? That's a man, amount of money which McDonald Mariga could have easily turned out. But he refused. Now, from those expos, it is now clear that McDonald Mariga reputation is at stake. And back to the main issue, why am I saying that William Samoy Ruto should actually be blamed for destroying McDonald Mariga? I'm saying this because of the following reasons. Number one, there's no crime in contesting for a political seat. Mariga has all the rights constitutionally to contest and join any political party. But what is coming out is that Mariga is coming out not as someone who is running, is coming out as someone else project. McDonald Mariga is coming out as a project of one man, William Samoy Ruto. And this one is going to expose him because we know this country, Ruto is 
loved and is also hated. And the fact that Mariga is coming out, not because, I mean, nobody, if you look at Mariga, now take even the way he was registered. It means someone was trying to push him. Mariga was not a registered voter. Why should Mariga register as a voter seven days to elections? I mean, to the nomination. It's, I mean, it doesn't make sense. The first thing Mariga should have done was to check whether it's a registered voter or not. And the fact that he's coming out as a as someone else pro, project, how will he serve the people of Kibera? That's the first question. The second thing is the divisive politics of this country. McDonald Mariga is now right in the middle of the divisive politics in this country. This is a man who played for Harambestas, who was donning and flying the flag of the country abroad. There's a goal McDonald Mariga scored for Inter Milan, and that goal is still being remembered by the old country. But now, instead of Kenyans remembering those goals, what are Kenyans remembering? What are Kenyans talking about currently? Kenyans are talking about how he cheated on this age. Kenyans are talking about how this guy is not patriotic, demanded for air ticket. What are other things Kenyans are talking about? Nothing good Kenyans are talking about Mark Donald Mariga. So the divisive politics also to play out this way. McDonald Mariga is a lawyer. And most lawyers are known to be footballers. So if you go to Arambestas to watch Arambestas game, chances are you'll find lawyers there. And chances are the other tribe you'll find, almost half, is law. And Mariga is not being seen as someone who is betraying this constituency. He's being seen as someone who is now going against that constituency. So it means even tomorrow, if Mariga will stop this issue of politics and focus on football, nobody will listen to him. And this is our country. We know how this country operates. And number three is what I can call political wars. Mariga is coming out as someone who is being used by William Samoy Ruto to fight certain political wars. Basically, the seat in Kibra, in my view, McDonald Mariga is not a factor. There's no way McDonald Mariga would win that Kibra seat. In fact, McDonald Mariga cannot be number two in that Kibra election. He's going to be number three or number four. After Elido Wallo, and there's a, a, another guy there running on independent called Judah. But McDonald Mariga still went ahead and is contesting. And is being seen as someone who is being used by William Samuel Ruto to help him fight certain political wars. The first war is that William Ruto is using Mariga to test the influence of celebrities in Kenyan politics. So whether that will succeed or not, something we don't know. Number two, it's, it's, it's being said that William Samuel Ruto is using Mariga to fight the handshake. How? Already, there's a jubilee wing which supports the ODM candidate. And William Ruto is not willing to let go this seat. So McDonald Mariga is the guy who is not being seen to be being used to fight those political wars. And number three, Number three, McDonald Mariga is also now coming out as someone who is being used to fight Raila Amolo Odinga in Kibra. Kibra, Kibra ni kama bedroom ya Raila Odinga. Any sensible leader would not dare contest Kibra. And even Mariga himself should not have dared contesting Kibra. Because contesting Kibra is basically contesting against Raila Amolo Odinga. So, and lastly, William Samuel Ruto is going to destroy this guy because this guy is now going to be exposed. There is no dangerous creatures on this earth than the supporters of Raila Amolodinga and the ODM supporters. 
These guys can destroy your reputation within a minute. And I'm sure these guys are going to deal with Mariga ruthlessly. If God will intervene, then the name of Mariga will not be on the ballot, ballot then Mariga will be fine. But I can tell you, ODM can lose the seat to votes. Mariga can win the seat. But he will never recover from the kind of propaganda, from the kind of misinformation, and from the kind of facts which volunteer ODM supporters are going to use against him. ODM supporters are, are bad news in this country. So the best thing Marika could have done was just to let go. If he wanted to run, there was an opportunity to wait and run maybe some other time. So in my view, the issue of Maria and contesting is now a done deal. Maria should use the opportunity now, this seven-day window, he should use it as a safe exit from politics. Because even if IBC will include his name, Mariga is going to be destroyed. And that destruction, there's only one man who should be blamed. And that one man is called William Samoy Ruto. He's dragged Mariga from the comfort zone where he was. Because Mariga has never done anything to the people of Kibera. In fact, Mariga intends to run and win as part of his giving back to the society. So in my view, I think McDonald Mariga should reconsider. But I don't know. He's, still, he's also an adult. He can still go ahead. And if he decides to go ahead, his reputation, his image, everything. Because currently, Mariga has just been making adverts for Betim as endorsement. People no longer view that as endorsement. People are viewing Mariga as someone who is a gambler. They are viewing Mariga as someone who is probably involved in money laundering through Betin. And now they are even viewing Mariga as someone who is destroying the generation of our youths through 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 betting. I don't know what you think, but those are my thoughts. William Samuel Ruto should be told not to destroy Mark Donald Mariga. He can use McDonald Mariga strategically to reach out to youths, but not to engage McDonald Mariga in Kibra politics. Livondo was used in Kibra. He was given everything, chop as what? I don't know where Livondo is today. Another guy, Amayo, was used in Kibra. Used chop as everything. I don't know where Amayo is today. So those are my, my thoughts. And if you're bumping on this video for the first time, what you do on this channel is simple. We analyze politics. So the best thing you can do is to hit the subscribe button. And to the subscribers, I want to continue. Thank you guys for your continued support. Thank you and may God bless you.